Hey, everyone. Uh, we have a really big story potentially brewing here about brand new Nintendo Switch hardware. This is one of those rumors floating out there that is really public. It's right in front of us. Uh, and it's very mysterious. And it comes out of Japan. And it comes out of somebody who owns supposedly retail outlets in Japan. Uh, kind of sort of tossing out a bunch of hints on Twitter, leading us to believe that they are aware of brand new Switch hardware arriving extremely soon. So soon, in fact, that we had to make this video. So get your trucks backed up with that salt, right? Throw it over your shoulder and get ready to go on quite a ride. The translations aren't perfect, but I will put the tweets on screen in case they get deleted now that it's getting attention. Uh, it originally surfaced up on Fami Boards. Uh, for those who don't know who Fami Boards are, they are a conglomerate basically of Nintendo super fans, including Emily Rogers and other insiders. And the, the person in question is uh, Tamikchi. Tamikchi. Uh, who claims to be a uh, store owner uh, in Japan. So uh, they claim in a series of tweets over the last few weeks, so this isn't like a, a giant thread where they're like, oh man, the uh, Nintendo Switch hardware, the new hardware is going to be this, it's going to be that. They're just claiming and hinting heavily that it's coming and coming soon. And these, these translations are really rough. Uh, so bear with me. So over to these series of tweets, it says, so I ran comments uh, through Deep L, and this is what I got. Yesterday, I had dinner with friends talking about games, distribution, industry, new releases, and the friends he's talking about are friends in the industry. So these aren't just like somebody hanging out with, you know, like me hanging out with Eric from the Nintendo Prime Podcast. This is just, hey, look, I'm hanging out with some buddies in the industry right now, and we had some drinks and dinner, and we got to talking, uh, and we had way too much fun. The food was too good. We ate too much, but we also had a good digestion. I wonder when I will be able to eat that level of meat again. The amount of information and content was so dangerous that I decided to try to forget it as soon as I heard it. It's not safe to talk about, even if you only remember bits and pieces of it. So basically hinting, hey, there were a bunch of things talked about that we should not have been talking about. Uh, and we can't, you know, it, I'm trying to forget it, but it is whatever. Uh, then he goes on to say Nintendo is a big jerk and that he can't stand them. And as usual, information and rumors are flying around before E3. And this comes directly from this person as well, because uh, E3 is obviously, you know, still being referenced uh, as an important time for Nintendo. And this says, I'm too excited about the announcements of Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. And Nintendo is actually going to be relentless to the competition. At least that's what I heard at dinner. Will the thing I heard about actually be released this year? Will... They announce it at E3's Direct. Nintendo clearly can probably afford to do it. Xenoblade Definitive Edition and Xenoblade 2, you know, we were talking and the screen resolution is so low in portable mode that it makes me feel depressed when I'm playing. And I know Nintendo has something right now that can do something about it. I believe that Nintendo has a hidden gem even if it is leaked. Now, these are just rough translations. Uh, multiple people who speak uh, Japanese have gone through it, and it, it's very hard to decipher. A lot of the text is, is muddled together, uh, but Dove definitely feels like it is referencing hardware, referencing some of these uh, industry people saying how disappointed they are in some of the visuals, and how Nintendo has something ready to go that can make things look a hell of a lot better. And that would suggest new hardware, of course. Uh, and they're wondering if Nintendo's going to drop it at this E3 because it exists and Nintendo's about to be relentless on the entire industry. Uh, Nintendo Switch as is, and the game's coming as is, you wouldn't really consider that to be relentless. That's just Nintendo being Nintendo. But if they drop new hardware, well, everyone else is struggling to get hardware to even on store shelves. And here's Nintendo. Hey, our Switches are in stock. Oh, and by the way, we now have a new one. Some might call that relentless. So, again, this is one of those ultimate speculation, uncle knows someone at Nintendo moments. It's a very weird way for something to come out. Maybe not as weird as 4chan. Maybe not as weird as Emily Rogers. But it's a very strange way 
that we might have potentially found new information. And I guess if these tweets end up getting deleted, uh, now that they're being pointed out, you know, maybe that points towards uh, some believability here. Here's here's what I believe. Whether or not this meeting means anything, whether or not this person is who he claims to be, uh, which is just, you know, a retail store owner meeting with industry people um, that know a bunch of stuff about what's going on at Sony and Nintendo in particular. What I find fascinating is if this is just some casual, you know, he's not saying specifically when the platform is. He's not sure if Nintendo's about to announce it. He just knows it exists. What I, what I find very interesting is that Nintendo is in this position of power at the moment. Uh, a position of power they are maintaining coming out of the pandemic, maintaining despite the launch of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. They are dominating two of the biggest markets in the world right now, Japan and North America. They also seemingly are dominating in many countries in Europe, and they are the number one selling platform you know, in terms of first-party platforms in China. Obviously, Chinese knockoffs may outsell it, but I, I find this to be fascinating. You know, yeah, Nintendo's Switch is on the downswing, right? You know, it, it peaked back in 2020 with sales. Each year, it sold a little less. We just talked about this on the Nintendo Prime podcast, but this is new and just more evidence that, hey, look, leakers, other insiders, they're not talking about Switch Pro right now. They're not talking about Switch 2 right now. They've been dead silent since last year. The real only talk we had this year was an NVIDIA leak earlier this year that was confirmed as a real leak by NVIDIA that seemed to reference hardware that could likely be in this next Switch. So, look, that's it. That's basically the only real news we've had. And now this. And now Nintendo on the downswing, but still really, really popular. Nintendo apparently about to be relentless on the competition. A new Switch could do just that and check every single box. Now again, highly speculative. I do encourage all of you out there that know Japanese way better than I do, uh, can go through other translators uh, or whatever. Uh, I encourage you to take the tweets. They are pictured. I will link to them <laughs> if they still exist. If not, I will link to the thread where I got them from. Uh, but yeah, I will. I, I have all the images up right now. The tweets are all off my computer right now. I'm taking screenshots right when I'm done recording. So I'll have all the tweets live for you guys to look at. I just, I just want to consider the possibility that some friends in the industry got together, had too much to drink, and things were being talked about that shouldn't have been talked about. And June 29th, potential direct, could line up with uh, their investors meeting, harbors on the downswing, San Diego Chronicles looking better than ever, Breath of the Wild 2 looking better than ever. Could be the right time to drop something, despite the Switch OLED last year. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. You guys let me know what you think. I don't want to upset anybody. I'm not sitting here telling you the Nintendo Switch Pro is coming this year. I'm not sitting here telling you it's even coming next year or Switch 2 or whatever. There's no exact details here. I'm just telling you we're starting to get those rumblings again that something is brewing. I guess uh, we shouldn't have to wait too long to find out if whatever's brewing, whatever relentlessness Nintendo has is going to be shown off later in June. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you go drop a like and subscribe. Uh, we, spec we, we talk about all the speculations out there, all the rumors. We also talk about tons of news as well. Uh, we have probably even more Fire Emblem leaks that we're going to be talking about later today because it keeps piling up. Also, some brand new information on Sonic Frontiers that we're still doing research into uh, that I think will be of particular interest to all of you as we start to get a grander picture of what this game is all about. Uh, so stay tuned. We have much more coming your way later today. But I am Nathaniel Ruffelgenz from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.